Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look here. And I'm actually using the Jeffree Star Blood Lust Palette. And it's so pretty. So if you want to learn how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so we are just going to jump right in. So here is the palette. I love the shape of it. It's a hexagon and the packaging is super pretty. But I'm not one to keep packaging so I feel bad for recycling it. But hey, it's okay. And so it comes in this. It's a nice velvet material right here i love this like this is so extra this has to be the prettiest makeup palette that i own and i am mad about it like this packaging is everything i love this good job jeffree star but we all know he's extra and i'm extra so it's okay but honestly the packaging is what made me want to purchase this palette it has his Jeffree Star little crown there and then imprinted on the back but I wish it had bloodlust somewhere but I guess that would kind of ruin the packaging it has it on the back small oh just got a text message it's my sister all right so let's open her up it has like I don't even know what you call this like a knob and ooh. So you open her up and she looks like this and he has the sturdy plastic for the covering which I can appreciate so it looks like no shadows were damaged let me take this guy off yeah this is sturdy but I mean I'm just gonna throw this away anyway so it's okay and then here is what she looks like oh my goodness look at that it's so pretty but honestly when I first seen this palette none of the colors made sense to me together like I don't know like there's pinks and purples and then some random colors so initially when I seen this palette, I was like and eh, I really want it but looking at it in person these shadows are super Messages. Okay, anyways, but looking at the uh, but anyways, looking at the shadows in person, like all these shimmer shadows look super pretty, and I can't wait to play. I honestly don't know what look I'm gonna do today, but let's see. And then take off the mirror, and I love palettes that have the mirror so that way I could just take the whole palette and then start doing my makeup right away because it has a mirror. So I figured we'd start off with a couple swatches and I believe Wet Jewel and Pink Magic are new formulas. So let's just, ooh, it feels so soft and buttery. So this one is Wet Jewel. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Ooh, that's pretty. So, wet jewel. That one is pretty. Let's put pink magic next to her. Ooh, that looks super pretty. Oh my goodness. Alright, and then there is pink magic. That's super pretty. And it it's so smooth like butter so I really hope it applies that way on the eyes all right so just jumping into the palette I'm not sure what I want to do today I've already primed my eyes and I used Mac paint truly paint pot um, but I'm thinking I want to start soft first so I'm gonna go in with the color royal pain and I'm using a Makeup Shack brush. All the brushes I'm gonna be using today are from Makeup Shack. And there is a little bit of fallout in the pan. I didn't do my face yet just because I didn't know if there was gonna be a lot of fallout, but let's get started. So Royal Pain, I'm gonna take in my crease and just go back and forth. Whoa, that's actually really pigmented and I barely touched the pan. 
So windshield wiper motions, back and forth, back and forth. Dang, that's a really pigmented. And then I'm just building up the color. And then I'm extending it just a little bit past my eye because I'm gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe later. And you always wanna start with a little bit of eyeshadow and then build it up. Because if you put too much and you don't like it, then it's hard to take away. And it's looking like this so far. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I really hope it is. I'm gonna change my lighting here soon. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just taking a royal pain in the crease. And then extending it past my eye. And yes, I know I need to clean up my brows. I need to see my brow lady. I just haven't yet. And remember, you just want to build up the color. All right, and the next with the same brush, I'm going to go in with High King. And then just focus that on the crease, but just a little bit lower. Oh, this one had no fallout. And this is just going to add some dimension and deepen up that crease just a little bit. But don't go too high up because you don't want to lose Royal Pain. And if you do, then just go back in with Royal Pain and deepen it up a little bit, a little higher. Alright, so that is what it's looking like so far. And then I think I actually want to cut the crease today because I really want to use Pink Magic and Wet Jewel, maybe Beauty Sleep on my lid. So let's do that. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut the crease and you just wanna lay it all over your lid and bring it just a little bit higher than your crease. So that way anyone with hooded eyes or just anyone that has a lot of lid space as well. You can see the color that you place when you open your eyes. And I'm just doing padding motions for this part. And then we're probably gonna go back in and deepen that crease so we don't lose the color too much. And then I bring it about halfway about halfway and same thing on the other side pat 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 and it's looking like that so far I love when anyone cuts the crease it just looks really nice all right and then I'm just gonna take a smaller brush from the makeup shack and then go back in with high king just to deepen up just a little bit All right, and now I'm gonna wet my brush with the Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. I always like to wet my brushes just to get more um, color payoff. And I'm sure these are really pigmented anyway, but I just do it with all eyeshadows. And I'm actually gonna go in with the color Pink Matte. Oh, oh my gosh, I just went into dungeon and got it all over me okay so i'm gonna go in with pink magic right here and focus that on my outer crease this is one of his new formulas i believe and it picks up so oh, and it picks up so nicely on the brush but i'm gonna just tap it on my outer crease And I'm only going halfway, so that way I can place Wet Jewel on the inner crease. But it's super pretty. 
and that's what it's looking like so far it's so pretty i love this color and it kind of matches my shirt i'm gonna wet my brush again and all i'm gonna do is flip my brush over to the other side and I'm gonna pick up a wet jewel. Wet jewel right here. And focus this on my inner half of my lid. But I feel like this brush is not doing a very good job of picking up this color. It's super pretty, but it just, I don't think this brush is doing it justice. And brushes do matter when you're applying makeup. Like I see the color, but I don't know. Maybe I was expecting something else. I don't know, but I'm just layering it on. Now it's starting. look how I want it to. Maybe you're supposed to use these shadows dry. Maybe that's my fault. And I'm just packing the two colors together so they blend. It's super pretty though. What do you guys think so far? I actually really like it so far. I'm always all about the neutral colors, but Jeffree Star's palettes make me branch out and try some color. And since I love his formula and his packaging so much, I mean, he makes me want to buy it, so why not play? And again, you're just doing padding motions. And this palette does have a little bit of fallout, so I'm glad I didn't do my foundation first because that would have been a mess. And I'm going back in with Pink Magic just to deepen it up a little bit. And then just put the brush back over where I was working with Wet Jewel and kind of blend the two together. Ooh, I love it. It really does match my shirt. But this camera is not doing it justice because in person, these colors really pop. And they look really nice on the lid. So it might be time for a new camera. Unless I'm blind and I just can't see what the camera is picking up. What do you guys think? I love this. I want to use more colors, but I don't know. I think I'm going to pop Beauty Sleep on the inner corner. I wanted to do more, but I just, I don't know what I want to do. And now I'm just going to blend everything all together. And this is a clean blending brush. All right, and that is it so far for the eyes. I'm gonna go do my face real quick, and then I'll be right back to finish up the eyes. All right, guys, so I just put on some face makeup, popped on some eyeliner and lashes, and this is what it's looking like so far. So now let's finish up the eyes. So now... We're going to work on the lower lash line and I'm going to, I kind of want to go in with the Vile Serpent, but I don't know if that's going to just mess up the whole pink vibe that we have going on here or not, or if I want to do purple. Ugh, I don't know what I want to do. See, this is what happens when you're doing your makeup. You kind of don't know what you want to do and you think about it and then when you're actually doing it you don't know well at least I don't know <laughs> uh, let's go in with no 
I think I want to do... Uh, let's do purple. I'm going to go in with um, Blood Queen right here first on the outer corner. And... Again, make my weird face so that way it's cupped and then I kind of see where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna go about halfway. So pretty. Okay, so I decided to change the brush that I was using. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe E17 and kind of just blend it out. So that way it gives it a more smoked outlook because the other brush was just too stiff for me. And what I want to accomplish here, see it looks so much better smoked out. But the other brush that I was using is good for placing the product and this one's good for blending it out. And then now for my inner corner, or not inner corner, inner half of the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with Take the Crown and that's right here on top. I'm gonna go in with a small makeup shack brush and focus that on my inner. That is pigmented. Ooh, I like that. And I would bring it into my inner corner, but I'm going to use Beauty Sleep on my inner corner. Ooh, yes. So that's what it looks like right now. I like the pink and the purple vibes. So pink up here. My lash is a little crazy. And purple on the bottom. All right, and for my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the color Beauty Sleep, which is right there. And just put that on my inner corner for some pop. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm just tapping it so that way I can blend it with the two eyeshadows on top and bottom. That's a really pretty color. I actually want to put that all over the lid next time. I like beauty sleep. We all need our beauty sleep. Alright. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really like how this look turned out because, as you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then real quick, I'm just going to hit my brow bone with Your Majesty. just for a little color. All right, so that is pretty much it for the eyes. I'm gonna pop on some lower lash mascara. And I'm using the Voluminous in Lash Paradise. And this will just bring the whole look together. It always freaks me out putting mascara on because once I do a whole look, and then if I mess it up, then I'm like, oh, come on. But it's really easy to take off mascara if you do get it on your skin. You let it dry and then take a Q-tip and it comes right off. All right, and this is the final eye look. What do you guys think? I really like it. And I feel like I picked the right shirt for it. I'm about to go out and about and I don't care. I like it. I like this look but what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below let me know if you grab this palette I know I'm a little late to the game because he released this palette a while ago now he's releasing a new palette but I've just had it sitting there so I'm really glad that I decided to open it up and do a fun look for you guys but finally to finish off the look I'm actually going to use what is that? I'm actually going to use the Extreme Frost 
highlighting powder from Jeffree Star and this is in the color Lick My Glit. So cute. Packaging is cute. Oh my gosh, this is really tight. Oh, there we go. That. Okay, anyways, and here is the packaging. Super sleek and cute. It kind of looks like a ring box. And here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And guys, this was expensive, but I'm like, oh yes, highlights. Let's do it. And this is what it looks like. Lick my glit. And honestly, I had to get it for the name as well, even though the highlighter is super pretty. And he says to apply with your fingers. But I'm also going to try with a fan brush as well. But let's just oh, dive in. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Look at that. Dang. Okay. I'm actually really nervous to put this on. Ooh, it's like glitter. But actually this goes with my eye look perfectly. And I'm just kind of blending it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I look like I'm an alien. Like look at that purple. Oh my gosh. This is do you guys see that? I don't think my camera is picking up that purple. I really hope it is, but ooh, that is so pretty. Okay. Now, and one swipe is good for your face. Like, this is crazy. And I'm just patting it in and then using a clean finger and patting it further. I don't think my camera is picking this up. Like this is crazy. If you want some crazy, crazy glow, then this is for you. But honestly, this is the perfect highlighter for this makeup look. Okay. So this is Lick My Glit all over my face and this is just one swipe I'm kind of nervous about putting it anywhere else on my face but why not so I'm gonna try it with my fan brush now and dust it whoa oh my gosh <laughs> okay This is super, it is pigmented, but more on the glittery side. So if you don't like glitter, then I definitely would not pick this up. Cause it's not your normal highlight. Look at my nose. I think sticking to your fingers better. Oh, look at that, now it's all over. Yeah, this is pretty glittery. But I like to glow, so it's okay. All right, guys, and this is the final look. What do you guys think? Are you gonna pick up this palette? Do you have this palette? What kind of looks have you done? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. But I really love it. I mean, I pretty much love all Jeffree Star products for the most part. But look at that, oh my god. It just keeps catching my eye in the viewfinder, so I hope you guys can see it like I can see it. Like it's perfect with this eye look. Oh, and I forgot to mention that my eyelashes are from the makeup shack and it is in I Dare You. Super affordable. I think they're about eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. But lashes bring your look together 
All right, guys, so that is it for my makeup look using the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.